during new construction phases or renovation phases of an existing home, you will be inspected by the government at every phase of the building. So this box will have your plans for the home and also all your inspection notices and approvals. It's where all the paperwork goes on site. There are so many ways to install a permit box, but today I'm gonna to show you a way that's simple and also sturdy. To start, we're gonna get a measurement of the width of the permit box. This one measures to roughly 26 and a half inches. Now the bracing will have to fit in between the posts. So we want a measurement for these two by fours to go in between the posts. If you look at the post, it will tell you a nominal and an actual size. The actual size of these posts is six feet by 3.5 inches by 3.5 inches. 3.5 plus 3.5 is seven inches. If we subtract the seven inches from the 26 and a half rough estimate of the permit box, we should be able to fit a 19 and a half two by four, a 19 and a half inch two by four in between the posts. And we'll do that three times to brace them. And draw your line with a speed square. Now inside the box we have a bag of uh, screws, which I've already put in the holes matching, and thumbtacks, which will in the future be used to tack the documents on the board inside the box. Now what we've done here is we've measured four inches off the top, and we've measured 16 inches off the bottom. And these will be the center of our two by four cuts. I then took the, uh, the height of the box and measured down from the two by four cut and that's where our middle bracing will be. Most importantly, these screws um, are in the center of the box. So we will be putting a two by four cut in between our middle and top bracing at the center of our two posts for these to be screwed into. Once you've braced your posts, you're ready to carry the framing for your permit box installation to the front of the house. You want your permit box to be accessible via either a sidewalk, walkway, or driveway, and you want it to be easily visible from the road. Simply lay your framework on the ground and begin digging two one foot deep holes where the base of your post lay. Okay, our holes have been dug 12 inches deep. And now all we have to do before setting in our installation is screw in the permit box. You can also place your installation closer to the front door of the property. Just make sure that it is oriented towards the front of the street. Now that your permit box is fastened, you are ready to place your posts into the holes. Pack your excess dirt in tight and make sure that your sign is level from front to back and side to side. 